Hey guys, this is Tover. And I'm Ruckus. And we are from the nerdfilter.com bringing you Battle Blog. Yep, number two. We were going to do a, a news filter, but um, tonight as well. But you didn't do any research. But you didn't do any research. <laughs> you didn't do any research. You didn't do any research. So we're going to go ahead and just do a Battle Blog. Did you watch uh, last week's? I watched uh, the Fail Fridays. Yeah, we, we have pretty much uh, good. Oh, hello. Oh. That's me. Pod blasting. Pod, no, battle blogging. Oh, battle blasting. Battle <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I, I think we had a pretty good week of uploads on uh, on the interwebs. Yeah. Need some people to watch them. We do. Need some people to subscribe. We got like three views on each video, and one of them's me. <laughs> yeah, one of them's me, and the other one's Zach. So, uh, hey, as long as we're keeping ourselves enta- entertained, I'm I'm okay with it. But yeah, I like um, last week's because when you put it together, you're like, oh, there's me probably killing somebody. Then there's me dying. And you actually <laughs> died at that point. That's Yeah, I know. I, I didn't even notice it until I was like at work. And I was like, I hope the all turned out OK. And I was like, oh, wait, I remember something's about to happen <laughs> because, yeah, I just basically edited video mm-hmm. to be the same length as the thing. And then, um, yeah, I think it worked out pretty good. Mm-hmm. Long story short. Yeah. So uh, you, did you reach any of your goals for the last week? Uh, Yeah, I got. Support uh, support expert. I think nice. it was nice, and that unlocks the RPK RPK seventy four something M. I think. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, some gun. Uh huh. I'm never gonna use. <laughs> I stopped using support like as soon as that happened. Yeah, I know that was that was always rough for me. And then uh, I'm like two three ribbons away from uh, engineer su- expert so yeah and we're actually gonna play some tonight mm-hmm. and we're gonna get those things taken care of and then and I'll be done gonna, with that one and then you're gonna help me out on um, some of my goals for the week uh-huh. but yeah last week uh, I think Zach says on Sunday I hit level 110 which was pretty awesome I, I got lucky I spawned into a game and immediately became the squad leader and um, we're going to talk about being a squad leader later, but mm-hmm. I was setting objective, and my teammates were with me 100% because I was level 109, and I needed 200,000 XP, and we got it done in two hours. And those four dudes with me in my squad never left because they were just killing it with points. Mm-hmm. So um, that was pretty awesome. And then um, I got uh, from China, the China um, level 100 assignment done okay and then i got um like the wall shotgun and i got a couple more done so i'm 25 away from from russia and then yeah the 49 with uh the dmr for the usa and then also for that new um for that new assignment that we were talked about last week do you remember phantom what prospect yeah phantom prospect i'm 93 tank kills away Nice. So I got 107 right now. We had an issue with that one. Why? Because we did the headshots. Uh huh. You got yours, and it says in one game, but I got mine through like three, four games. I think that one game just took a while to register. I, 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 I was hoping you wouldn't bring this up because I don't want to uh, argue because no, because I, when I got it, it was I looked at it and I was like 15, th- uh, 300. What? 21 of 300. What? Yeah, but there's no way that it registered a six. There's no way that you only got one headshot for six meters. It's it's one headshot. But that's what it says. But then also for the tank, it says uh, kill 100 in the tank, in a battle, main battle tank. Mm-hmm. And then the tracker is of 200. I don't know if you noticed that as well. Uh, so so who knows? I mean, there is But we also, I had that same problem with the other one, the... Um, for the MTAR, because yeah. it was like, get a this and this and this and around. I didn't do that, and it still gave it to me. Well, that's weird, because, yeah, but it didn't my battle But bl- my, uh, I almost said battle blog. My battle log uh-huh. says that I don't have it. Well, on the computer, it says I don't have it. On the game, it says I don't have it. Yeah, no, that's how mine is, too. But I, I, they gave me the weapon for it on the computer. They gave me the, mm-hmm. the fucking box. They checked it off, so yeah. who knows? Yeah. So something interesting happened to me today. Mm-hmm. I was playing a round of um, team deathmatch, mm-hmm. having a good time. I was actually recording, and um, when the round was over, I got a message from somebody in the game uh-huh. that says, uh, "You can go suck a dick." 
Okay. And I, you know, of course, you know, being the nice guy I am, I replied I preferred hamburgers uh, over dicks. Sounds like you're making friends. And um, and it kind of went on for a couple of games, like three games. Like he was talking shit the whole time. He called me a bitch because every time I saw him, I shot him in the back. Um, it's fucking Battlefield. I'm not going to wait till you turn around, noob, mm-hmm. which is basically what I wrote back. Um, and then he uh, he left. He rage quit because then we s- I just started killing him and bagging him. You know what I mean? Like I was going out of my way now. Like don't don't be a dick. Mm-hmm. Just shut your face. You know what I mean? Take the loss like a man. Yeah. It, there, there's no way you can step to me. You're not on my level. Oh. You're you're not on my level. Until you come with an MTAR, you're not going to be able to shoot me in the face. That's just not going to happen unless I'm down on health. Mm-hmm. And that's the only time you ever got me. And. Um, it devolved into, uh, uh, it got pretty nasty. Mm-hmm. And so uh, apparently his PlayStation froze. So he wanted to get back in the game because he wasn't done. And so he's like, uh, my, my PlayStation fro- froze. Where are you at? And um, I decided to take the high road and be mature. And I replied, balls deep in your mom. Oh, real mature. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, he replied, oh, my God, she'd kill you. And again, taking the high road, I said, well, thank God for that, because you can't. <laughs> and um, I just thought it was funny. It was... Then what happened? And then I sent him a friend request. <laughs> and then what happened? He accepted it. <laughs> um, I had to go to the store, so Zach said that he joined. Zach started playing, and um, he joined and was playing... Was he playing with you? Or? He was, yeah, he was on the other team. And, uh, yeah, he was hiding, basically. <laughs> um, so... Do you have, I mean, does that happen to you a lot? Uh, no, really. I did, uh, what What did I get one on? Oh, it, no, mine was on uh, The Last of Us. I oh, okay. was sitting behind a barrier, and I knew these two guys were coming, so I waited because they had the little supply kit. Yeah. So I waited and waited and waited, and as soon as I got to the supply kit and opened it, I hit him with that Molotov. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Instant kill, and I got a message that said, I'm an asshole. <laughs> and I, yeah. I was just like... I knew you were coming. <laughs> it happened to me. It's going to happen to you. Yeah, I, I normally don't reply to those yeah. because, you know, I've, I'm up to like 230 hours on Battlefield. Yeah. And I am level 110. I'm max level. Mm-hmm. And I have every gun and everything at my disposal at all times. So any situation mm-hmm. you want to get yourself into, I can get you out of it by killing you. Mm-hmm. And um, I am getting to that point where I'm going to win every time. And... So normally I just let the gameplay go, but I do start killing them and bagging them, letting them know, send me your messages, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm getting them. (laughs) Yeah. I'm receiving them. I'm getting them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And actually, uh, this one guy sent me a message a couple days ago. It was nothing bad, uh, but he sniped me from a corner, and I went up behind him, and I defibbed him. And I was behind him, like, warming up my paddles, and I was like, ooh, I should send him a message that was like... uh, get up or you know what i mean yeah. yeah but i didn't yeah uh because i didn't want him to, to see me but um yeah it's just it's great where, where do you stand on teabagging i'm all for it. It, it to me it's funny i laugh when it happens to me i'm like fuck he just teabagged me i know we had the episode in battlefield <laughs> yeah battlefield, <laughs> battlefield 3, it was really 3 where it was, it was <laughs> We were going at it with this guy, and it was just back and forth, back and forth. And I was like, I'm going to teabag him. So I killed him and teabagged him, and then he killed me, and I panicked. <laughs> and the whole thing turned into, don't let him teabag me, don't let him no. teabag me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't let It was funny, because you were screaming. I, yeah, um, I was. I didn't want to get <laughs> teabags. embarrassing. Yeah. It's just like, damn it. Well, what was funny is that uh, Zach killed him, because he was running DMR, trying to get the headshots. We working, were working on the headshots. And so, yeah, Zach was playing, and he, and he killed him and was teabagging him, but hip-firing and killing his teammate. And, you know, like, it wasn't even, like, it, it, was, it was hilarious because we killed him, uh, I'd guess, 30 times, and he killed us four times. And, um, yeah, Zach was just, like, teabagging him and, like, <laughs> launching grenades up in the air as he's doing it and uh, just being really mature. Teabagging is all good. I hate when, like, I get killed by, like, a claymore. Yeah. And then it's like, they start boom, yeah, and you see the guy, like, dancing. <laughs> yeah. Stop dancing. Oh, yeah, you, you did nothing. You did nothing. Yeah, stop dancing. But I'm, I'm all for teabagging. I laugh when it happens to me. I know some people get, like, butt hurt. Yeah. No teabagging. Like, uh, some in the, some of the Battlefield 3 rooms, it uh-huh. was like, you can't use the UMP9, you can't use this gun, no teabagging. What? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. 
Yeah, it, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Teabagging is part I'm of the I'm all game. for it. It's funny. So last night you posted a video which came up today yeah. about the uh, M... The, the mobile M142. artillery, basically. Yeah, M yeah, it's a mobile artillery, yeah. the M142. M142. Um, did you get a chance to watch it? I did. The audio is not great. It, yeah, it's a little rough to hear. Um, so I, I might try to re-render it. But uh, basically what I did, because I've seen it happen mm -hmm. in a couple of games, and uh, I've been on the receiving end of an M142 attack, mm -hmm. and it's not fun, especially when you're trying to cap uh, an objective like uh, it's A, was for me it was on A. So they basically, uh, at the start of the game, you can cap B, mm -hmm. which is um, the tank garage mm -hmm. side Where is of this Zavod. Oh, Zavod, okay. Um, and then the M142 spawns on the uh, D side of that, mm -hmm. uh, of that objective. And so um, basically what I did is uh, I was on a shitty team, and that's why the video wasn't that great is uh, I, I went out and I, I capped D, and then I went towards B and was actually capping B, and somebody came and killed me. So it restarted the cap, and so I spawned in at D, and I ran towards B, and as soon as they capped it, the M142 spawns, and I killed my way over to it. I think I had to kill one guy. Got in the M142, hightailed it out, and I'm on the D side spawn. Mm -hmm. I drove it all the way into the spawn, and at that point... Um, safely tucked in that spawn where nobody can reach you with RPGs or with uh, javies or anything. Mm -hmm. You can hit D, B, C, and um, just right of off of A. Yeah. Um, and so that's what I did. It was not a very good gameplay. I got, I got 10 kills in a row, though, on it. So you say it's not very good, but still... It's a 10 kill streak. Mm -hmm. um, when I did it the first time, I had had 16 kill streak. And it was a lot more fun because we were winning. Yeah. So, uh, but it changes the course of the game. And there's nothing you can do. Yeah. Aside from uh, getting in a helicopter and hoping that a gunner spawns in because it's only the transport helicopters yeah. with the side guns. Um, and so, yeah, there's nothing that you can do. And it eliminates... Um, the the tops of Zavod, so B and C, people go up on those roofs yeah, and they become snipers out. up there. Yeah. Um, it eliminates the, that. It also eliminates tanks because once you have a tank spot, they move so slow you can lead them and yeah. annihilate them. And then also, because snipers are selfish, they'll jump in that transport helicopter and they'll fly over to the roof and they'll land the helicopter on the roof and then I'll kill them. Yeah. And now their helicopter's up there. And, and they've closed the hatch. And, yeah, and there's nothing that can happen at that point because every time I see a flash up there, I'm going to rain hell up there. Mm -hmm. And um, I basically shut down the ground attack and the air attack of that. I don't think it's fair that you can do that. On that map. On that, that map, map is yeah. so small that, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I don't think that artillery should be on there. Yeah. Because the, what's the other one it's on? The train. Uh, it's railway. on the railway. Yeah. And that map and is so big, and there's nowhere to park it and hide. Yeah, well, you could. I thought about trying to take it into the spawn, mm -hmm. but that is my number one map for getting tank kills in. So every time I think I'm going to do it, I spawn into a tank and then I run around try to kill too many people. Yeah. Um, but I still, but I still don't think you could do it because it's too big. I think you could reach E if you're on the E side spawn. Mm -hmm. I think you can reach E, and you can control E, which is I think is the most important uh, objective there to hold. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I just think it's ridiculous that you can drive a a vehicle that spawns outside of your spawn into the spawn. I don't think it should be allowed to do that. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? Because, you know, they'll spawn vehicles everywhere. And, uh, yeah, just like I don't think you should be able to steal the other team's helicopter and then fly it into your spawn and then just put, like, a dummy account in it and control the sky. Because I've, I've seen people do that on, on Xbox. They have, you know, dual boxes, yeah. and they'll just, yeah. So it's bullshit, if you ask me. Yeah. I mean, I'm probably going to do it, you know, 10 or 20 more times <laughs> if I'm trying to get my kill-death ratio up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just bullshit. You just, you, at least you would know that it's <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, I mean, I, when I was doing the, um, the audio that you can't hear, yeah. I was like, yeah, I feel terrible doing this because I had to do it twice. I tried it out once, and I wasn't recording. And then so I was like, okay, I'm just going to try this when it came up in a normal map. And um, normal map rotation. And, uh, yeah, I felt terrible doing it. 
to a certain extent. Yeah. I was laughing and giggling hysterically <laughs> when I was taking tanks out with it. <laughs> the first time I did it, I actually knocked two helicopters out of the sky because they were coming to get me. And then, uh, yeah, and then they'll end up landing it to try to repair it. And then as soon as it hits the ground, dude, it's over. Yeah.